In this textual adventure, stories, names, characters, and incidents portrayed are fictitious. Fictitious. Player discretion is advised. Y'all, y'all heard that? This is the game of life, guys. This is a life. We have choices here. Mm -mm. Oh, it's the game of chance. My bad. Same thing. Same thing. Welcome, new player. Hi. Click to born. Click to born. Nice. Who am I gonna be? I wanna be pink. I wanna be pink. I wanna be. Oh, I'm brown. Dang, that sucks. <laughs> I'm playing, y'all. You're a black male born in Africa. As a brilliant student, you're sent to the U.S. for an exchange after graduation. You are. I'm beginning to think this isn't written by a native English speaker because for an exchange after graduation, you are. Oh, wait, maybe offer your job. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I just need to click faster in the U.S., but your family insists that you came. Why are your eyes moving with my mouse? Can you family insist that you come back to your homeland, take over the family business? Do you fly back to your home country? Should I fly to my home country? Yes or no? Sure. You come back to your homeland and take over the country, the family, the, take over, I take over the country, y'all. I take over the family business. Things are going well, so well that many people start to see you as a visionary that could do a lot more for this country. Do listen to them and begin to pl a political career. Yes, I want to be in charge, y'all. Give me that. You start a da you start, you start a dazzling career in politics and you quickly become the youngest local official in your country. One day, a well-dressed man asks to share a coffee with you. He presents a lot of convincing arguments and asks you to stop supporting a proposal for new regulations you were already thinking about not supporting them at the end of the meeting he leaves a suitcase full of bank notes behind do you take it give me the money you accept the bribe and quickly become one of the most powerful political leaders but also one of the most corrupt though i don't care i'm rich you'll even get elected president of your country however after the attempt at constitutional reform to stay longer in office you will get shot during a violent military coup Ah, oh, life doesn't have to be a game of chance. Be tolerant and compassionate with others. Give opportunities to unprivileged ones and major part of what you are and you have is due to where you were born. You never deserve it all. Do you want to give life another shot? Click the boom. I already messed it up, y'all. <gasps> I'm white. I'm a Caucasian. Why am I always a male? I don't want to be a male. Oh, I'm, I'm, an, I'm, I'm an Asian. As years pass by, your desire to leave the Paddy fields for your city grow stronger. Do you choose to stay in the countryside with your family and friends? No, I hate y'all. In this crowded country, oh, I grew hair too. Look at my eyes, bro. I was expecting this game to be like this, but I kind of, kind of dope. In this crowded country, you're not the only one waiting to thrive in a shiny city in order to travel across the country. You need an inter internal passport. Someone proposes you a counterfeit one. Do you take it? Yes. The passports allow you to reach the city, but you get robbed while asking for directions without passport. Impossible to ask for a job or benefits. Only services in the city. You have to engage in the black market to survive. Can you work for it? An occasional act a casit accident occidental. What does that even say? Uh, what's an occidental, y'all? Yes, I need the I need the money. I need that dough. You enter the industrial complex, and as the metal gates close behind you, you get the feeling that you'll never be outside again. In fact, there are no reason to get out of the family, get out of the facility. Everything is on site. Life is comfortable the first weeks, but you quickly realize that the work hours are barely bearable. One day you're too tired and heavy machinery is crushed your arm. Since you are not able to do the work, the company fires you. You'll die alone in misery shortly after. Wow. Guys, this really shows you how miserable life is. I, I want to live a happy, happy life, guys. We'll see what will make me happy, guys. We'll try it. Oh, I'm pink. You're a female. Yes. Born in Europe, your parents are getting a divorce. Do you want to live with your mother? Of course I want to live with my mother. Dad, you suck. Your mother is lacking, is lacking money. She is depressed. Do you work hard at school to make her happier? Yes. Mom, you will be happy. I'm going to be the best one. This is, gonna be, this is the game, guys. This is the one where I make everyone happy and I don't die a miserable life. Also, I don't think your company is allowed to fire you for losing an arm while you were working there. Not today, anyway, because you can get compensation for that. I don't know how it works in Asia, though, so whatever. You're the first one of your class during all your schooling. Your mother tells you that you're the best. Yes, you graduate with a film degree. Do you want to become a filmmaker? That seems pretty dope. Sorry, only 7% of filmmakers are women. You have no network and you fail in that field in spite of money years of total. <laughs> it says no because I'm a woman. Are you serious? This is really showing you the truth of life. Life really just kicks you down, guys. This game is about equality. 
Am I old? Is that why my hair is gray? Dedication. After 30 years trying to improve, your project never performed. To notice the mocked your art and you never tried again. After the death of your mother that remained proud of you until the very end, you commit I thought this was the- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yada, yada. <laughs> Guys, I did not think this was gonna be like that. Why well, <laughs> That was the one where it was gonna be good! <laughs> you're a black male born in Africa. As a brilliant student, you were sent to the U.S. for an exchange. After you graduate, you were offered a job in the U.S. But your family says that you come back to your home to take one. Do you fly back to your home country? No, I did that last time and it ended bad. This first job doesn't work out, but you're a talented graduate and you start looking for another job. You start sending your resume to many companies. Do you put your picture on your- on your curriculum. No, because they look at your picture, they're like, you're black, you don't get the job. You find a job immediately and start making more money than you can imagine. See, that was a good decision, guys. It is time to do something with big with it. One day, you pass by a shiny sports car store. Do you stop there? Yes. You're t you took, yes, yes, I want a sports car. Maybe I should have saved and invested, but I want a car. Take very good care of your shiny sports car. One day, as you drive at night to go pick up a friend at the airport, you got pulled over. Oh no, the sensation of speed was great and you were in a rush to meet your old friends from school. You reach your papers for your papers in. Guys, I'm gonna predict it. The cop shoots me. The cop shoots me. Honestly, guys, if that's right, you have to subscribe. If that's right, you have to subscribe. And your pockets as the police officer approaches the window of your car. Considering your fancy car, the officer mistakes you for a burglar. I told y'all. As you get your hand out of the pocket, you get shot and die. That you owe me a subscription. You owe subscribe. You guys gotta subscribe. We made that deal. We made that deal. We shook on that. You gotta subscribe now. You gotta subscribe now. You gotta subscribe now. The officer inferred you had a gun, and after after his trial, he will be we will be acquitted of all charges. Does acquit mean not charged at all? That makes sense, bro. This happens all the time. Hey, police, bro. Even in games, even in games, they ain't chill. Even in games, bro. How do you win this game? How do you live happily? This game. It's telling you that you cannot live happily ever after. I'm a female born in Europe. Your parents are getting a divorce. Do you want to live with your mother? What happens if I say no? Your father has two jobs to meet your needs. You miss your mother a lot. You spend all your time with your best friend. Rose, do you, exper do you experiment things with her? What does that even mean? Experiment things. Like, is an experiment, like, as in, like, science? Or, like, experiment as in, like, I'm a lesbian, bro? Like, y'all can't, like, what am I? You find out that you like it. You also, yeah, yeah, okay, that's what that's what it was. I was kind of confused by what it was. You also found that your father is a homophobe. You hide it to him during the whole teenage, but one day he finds you and Rose 30. Your father cuts ties with you. You marry Rose. You start a filmmaking company. This is going better. I married a girl. That's good. That I married a girl. This is this is the best it's been so far. Filmmaking company. I started my own company to make documentaries about gender inequalities. Okay, okay, okay. You're receiving threat letters from homophobic groups. Do you continue your struggle for your rights? Yes. Never give up, guys. Never give up. Ten letters. You die beaten down in a march. You are a martyr, and your work is recognized across the country. Laws laws are passed to put an end to gender inequalities. Okay. I I think I don't think that was I don't think that was all that bad. I mean, I die. Is there a happier ending than that though? Is the real question. Um, I think, I don't think that was all that We got laws passed. I married. I was pretty happy for a little bit. Um, we'll give it one more shot, guys. One more shot, guys. Our best foot forward. I'm a Caucasian again. A Caucasian again. Look at me in my diaper. Uh, leave the paddy fields. Okay, this time, I'm going to stay in the country. You decide to fully embrace your Argarian life and focus on your crops. Race is great, but you also like chicken. Do you want to leave? The paddy fields take care of your own little army of chicks. Sure. Turns out that your army of chicks becomes a literal one. Your production is growing year after year and you think about selling your poultry products to more customers. You can export your product internationally. Do you prefer to limit yourself to your national market? No! We're spreading. You decide to fully embrace globalization and start renting tankers to export your poultry products. However, due to some international trade conflict between your country and others, your products are banned from every occidental country due to safety standards and brand issues. The loss of your product will not only hinder your business, but also your reputation. Great. I'm old. Forever. This game don't like me. This game really don't like me, guys. Just it, it don't it don't like me. I think the last one was the best one you're gonna get in this game. If you guys want to see me have a better shot at life, which is probably not gonna happen. Especially if slug bun. You guys already owed that to me. You remember? Um, I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen though. I, I don't think this is gonna happen. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.